Hi, I'm Robin with AppleiPhoneApps.com. In last Sunday's New York Times, Apple and AT&T ran a full-page ad saying, solving life's dilemmas one app at a time. And one of these apps was Flight Status. So here at Apple iPhone Apps, we wanted to see if Flight Status was really the best flight application out there. Let's take a look. Flight Status is a really great application where you can check over 1,000 airlines and over 4,000 airports worldwide. You can get all different types of information like your gate and terminal information, uh, estimates for time of arrival, for takeoff and landing, and much, much more. So let's see if this application can actually do what it says it can. Now, when you first enter the application, you're brought to this main screen. You have a couple different options here. Now, you can either just check one flight at a time, or you can go up here and check a bunch of different flights for a trip that you want to set. So if you want to save different flights, you can do that in the trip section. But let's see what we have to offer in the main menu first. Now up here at the very top, you see flights, route, and airport. Now if you go to flight, you can very quickly check one flight. So you can enter in the airline, the flight number, and the departure date, and hit status. Okay? Now, there are actually, this is a, not a real flight, so it says that there are no flights found. But if it was a real flight, then it would pull up all the status for that flight. You can also go here to route. And basically in route, you're going to check a route between two airports for a certain day and get the status on that. So this we don't really need a, a flight number for. So you can enter a, an airport, which I've gone ahead and done. And to change that, you just click on it. And you can either search through the thousands of airports listed, or you can simply just do a search, which I did. And it quickly brought it up. Oops. All right, so there's one, Burbank Airport. Okay, and then I'm going to say I'm going to San Francisco. And the departure date is December 8th, and simply hit status in the upper right-hand corner. All right, so now it brought you all the different flights for those specified days and times at that airport. And if you want to filter by airline you can go ahead and do that here just click on the filter button and you can scroll down for the different airlines available okay, let's go back to flight status now um i'm sorry i'm going to click on status again now if you want to get information on a certain flight listed here all you have to do is click on the arrow on any of these flights and you get a slew of information so you get the scheduled um see if it's on time which this flight is you get the flight number the airline uh the air time that one's in the air for an hour, and it's going from Burbank to San Francisco. If you scroll down a little bit further, you can get the origin information, see what time that it was scheduled for, and see what time it actually left. And then down here at the bottom, get the destination information. So here you can see the estimated time and when it's actually scheduled. And you should be able to get gate information once it gets a little bit closer, and here it's actually giving you it's in Terminal 3. Okay, now another great thing is that all of this information is coming from flightstatus.com, which is a really reliable source to get flight information in the first place. All right, so let's go back a couple steps. So now we've checked the route. Now, if you also want to check by airport, you can do that too by clicking on the airport button. Type in a specific airport here. So I'm just going to go with Bob Hope Airport. And a time period that you're looking for flights in, I've typed in 9 a.m. to 11.59. And if you look here, you can get a bunch of different times, time frames. Okay, let's go back to flight status, and let's just say that that flight's leaving on December 8th. You can also choose here between departures and arrivals, and just hit status here. I am clicked on departures. It's going to bring me all the departing flights for Bob Hope Airport. Okay, and this takes a couple minutes for it to compile this list. And once it does, it's going to look pretty much like the other list that we've previously seen. And it's going to bring up a bunch of different flights, and you can do the same thing. You can filter by uh, airline. And then if you want to get information about one of those flights, just go ahead and click on it, and it gives you the same information as was given in the other. All right, now let's go back. Now, as I was talking about before, you can do certain trips. So if you want to schedule a trip with multiple flights, we can do that too. Now, I'm going to hit on the trips button. Now, I've already, I've already entered uh, trip information for somewhere I'm going to be going to Oregon. So if you click on that, you can see all the flights that I've entered, and it saves all this information. So as it gets closer to your flight date, you can actually begin to get status updates on your flight. But you can only get status updates up to three days in advance, which I say is a bit of a flaw with this program. All right, so let's click on a flight and see what we've already entered here. So I've entered the flight number, where I'm leaving from, where I'm headed to, 
as well as the confirmation number and departure date and time. Now, these two things at the bottom allow the system to search for status information, so you really want to enter those if you have them. Now, here at the bottom, as you can see, there is a flight status button, but since the flight is kind of far away, I don't think it's going to bring anything up, no. So it's going to say status is not yet available for this flight. Click on OK, and we're going to get out of that screen. All right, now if you want to change any of this information, it's very simple to do that. Just hit Edit, and you can change any of the information that I've mentioned. OK, I'm going to go ahead and hit Cancel. Now let's go back one step. So now you can see all the flights that I've entered, but if you want to actually add another flight to this trip, you can go ahead and hit Edit. And down here at the bottom, you can just hit Add Flight. And then you can enter all this information, the airline, flight number, departure date and time, confirmation number, departure and arrival. Okay, and then as soon when you're done entering that information, you hit save flight and that flight will be in entered into my list of flights for Oregon. All right, now if you want to add another trip, that's very easy too. Oops, go back here. And all you have to do is hit add trip in the upper right hand corner. Flight Status is a good application, but I'd say there's still a lot of room for improvement. Some things I liked about this app, you can choose from over 4,000 airports worldwide. You can get gate, terminal, and baggage information, and also set a trip itinerary. So what are some of the things I didn't like? Well, you can only search up to three days in advance, and the Trips feature has poor integration with the rest of the app. But other than that, I really liked Flight Status. For more application information, please check out our website at appleiphoneapps.com. And if you like this video, please subscribe to our podcast on iTunes. I'm Robin, and I'll sync with you next time.